It's time for another Red Honey review, everybody. And we're going to be going back to some figures by Papo. It's been a while since I've done another Papo figure here, so... I figured it's time, and this is a Papo dinosaur I've been wanting to review here on the channel for a while. He's been on my to-do list for reviews, and you've probably seen him appear in the background of many of my other videos, so it's about time he gets the spotlight here for a review. It's the Papo Allosaurus. So if you collect other Papo dinosaurs, you should pretty much know what to expect here for quality-wise. Uh, this is just a really stunning figure. I mean, the detail Papo injects into these is... Just, I still haven't even been able to wrap my head around it. Uh, it's a great Allosaurus. Love the paint job they have on this guy, just the way it is. It's kind of like tanny colors mixed with a little bit of brown up on the head, different shades of brown and slight shades of this darky, dark crocodile looking skin almost color. It's not green, but it's almost like crocodile looking type skin color here going down the entire figure. Freaking amazing, uh, the stripes they have on the leg and even going down the tail, all the way down the tail. I mean, would you expect anything else from Papo here on this? Love the points, love it, love it. The detail is amazing. Here's his claws. His little six pack, <laughs> his six pack right there. I'm just kidding, he's got some muscles right there for like his chest looking area. And the head alone on this guy, I mean, that's just awesome. That is like, one of the greatest things I have ever seen. Like many other Papo dinosaurs, he doesn't really have much articulation. The only part on this figure that can move is his jaw, which opens and shuts. You can pose it either open or closed, it's up to you, and exactly what you would expect inside the mouth's highly detailed like every other Papo dinosaur, as you can see the top of his jaw. Insane amount of detail for inside the mouth. You can see his tongue, even under his tongue, it's a little bit of detail. Like, Mind-blowingly insane, Papo. The detail, the detail, the detail, the detail, oh my god. He's even got his one claw, which is bigger than his other two claws there, on both hands. Freaking awesome, and if you continue down more, you can kind of almost see his rib cages under the skin right there. I have two, and as you guys all know, uh, if Red Hunya has two, it's a kick-ass figure. <laughs> this is what it would look like if you bought him brand spanking new with his uh, stuff for his feet so his legs don't get warped during shipping and this little tag for his leg. Another thing to notice too, it's not really a huge dealer complaint, but the paint jobs on Papodonosaurus always slightly vary. Uh, and what I mean by that is they're basically the same for the most part, but when you get two figures like this and you compare them face to face you can see the one here in the front has more brown up towards around his eyes and this other one has a little bit of brown but it's more dark looking up here by his head i do believe you guys can see what i mean so really cool uh that you can papo dinosaurs like that are basically the same for the most part but only the paint jobs very slightly only slightly not much so so here's how the Papo Allosaurus sizes up here with the Stego. Uh, if you have the Stego, you can use that for size reference because these two figures are basically the same size. Uh, the Stego beats him maybe somewhat because the spikes on his back are slightly higher, but not a huge deal. Stegosaurus is a nice figure anyway, the art of Crash Stegosaurus. But yeah, there's not really much else to say about this Papadonosaurus. It's a really highly detailed Allosaurus figure, and I love it. I mean... If you were into Papo dinosaurs, you should already know what to expect with this. Uh, it's just a really highly detailed dinosaur figure of this late Jurassic bipedal predator. <laughs> Big Al. Allosaurus was always another one of my favorite carnivores, right alongside Tyrannosaurus and Carnotaurus. Allosaurus was next in line. And I just love the head sculpt. Freaking awesome. So what do you guys think? Do you have this figure or are you looking to pick this Papo Allosaurus up? Post in the comments down below and tell me what you think of Big Al. And is he one of your favorite Papo Dinosaurs or yeah, 
let me know what you think and subscribe if you want to stay up to date here with videos that are going to be posted and everything uh subscribing really helps and i appreciate all the support if you subscribe but until next time i'm signing out i hope everyone enjoyed this quick little papo review of the allosaurus take care and have a good one